Alright, in this lecture we're gonna create the layout of the calculator. So I downloaded an image from the internet of a very simple calculator. So if you look here, this is basically how the calculator looks like. And uh, it might look complex, but it's actually pretty simple interface-wise. You have one view here that shows the numbers that are getting calculated here, okay? Um, that's outlined in yellow and then you have a bunch of buttons here that are pretty much the same size Okay, even though they have different colors. They are about the same size. So let me show you these are all buttons Okay, and as you can see there's four rows of Four columns. Okay, so each rows have four buttons. Okay, pretty straightforward This is basically a four by four grid. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be working on. Let's do this um, I want you to go to uh, Xcode and click on the main.storyboard Okay Once you click here the first thing we want to take care of is creating this view which is the one let me show you This one right here. Okay, where it says zero. Okay, so this one that I'm making uh, blink Okay, so that's the view we want to create where it says zero right here. All right, so um, I'm gonna go to Xcode in the main.storyboard and I'm gonna be looking right here in the bottom for the word label because that's basically a label it's displaying information all right so i'm going to take that label and i'm going to just drag and drop it right here okay now what i want um i'm gonna i want that label to be at least of so go to the uh, the size okay the size inspector and if you don't see this window by any by, by chance you have to click here okay you have to make sure that this is enabled okay so make sure to click here all right i want this to be a minimum height of 50 so I'll just type 50 here let's change the color and go to the the attributes right here and if you scroll down we're gonna change the background color instead of having a transparent we're gonna go to other and um, let's pick a blueish color okay all right so that will do okay and now what I want to do is um, I'm, I'm gonna run this and show you that it's not enough just by doing that we uh, we want to work and make sure that it fills the space horizontally okay so click on play and take a look at what you get so far by doing that okay so now it's about to run in the iPhone 4s all right okay it's loading it might take a little while because it's the first time it's loading All right, the simulator just popped up. So now um, it's about to launch the application. Okay, so if you take a look at it, we have the label that's even to the right of it. It's not even centered, it doesn't even take the whole space. We want something closer to this, okay? What you see here, okay? So we are a bit far from it. So what we need to do is work on this. So. Go back to Xcode and what we're going to do is add constraints, okay? So I want you to click on that label. Once you have the label selected, I want you to go down right here and you see there's four little uh, buttons here. And one of them, the second to the right, this one says resolve auto layout issues, okay? So click here, okay? And you can click on add missing con constraints. That's one way. But if we do that, then uh, that's going to complicate things later because we're going to add more buttons. So I want you to go to the third one, this one right here, okay, or the second to the left. And right here, we want a minimum distance of 10 above, okay, and press tab once you write 10, okay, and make sure that you have, instead of a dotted line, you have a red line here, okay, a plain red, solid red, okay. And here, we want to have 10 points to the left, and make sure it's selected as well, and here, 10 points on the right and make sure this is selected. Now we want to have also a height to be at least 50. So we want the height to be selected. And every time we add a constraint, it says add four constraints. So click here to finalize it, add four constraints. Okay, so it's calculating and it added the constraint for us. Now what we want to do is update the view. Okay, so I want you to click here, right here, the second one and say update frames. Okay, and there we go. It shows how, it's, how this is gonna look on the phone. Now that we have this, let's put the label to the center. So go up in the attributes right here and let's click on center, all right? And actually this is gonna be a calculator so it's gonna be to the right. So click here, okay? And put the number zero instead of label, 
All right. Okay, excellent. Now I want you to run this, okay, and see what you get. Okay, so click on run. And now it's about to run in the simulator. Build succeeded. All right, and there we go. This is perfect. It looks very similar to what we have here, okay? Which is the zero on the right side, and this is taking the whole space, okay? With a little border on the right and a little border on the left. Okay, so far so good. Now, in the next lecture, we're gonna add all the buttons, which is a four by four grid. See you guys in the next